anyway, sneezing is uh, disgusting. We all do it. I sneeze. Like, it's disgusting. I hate sneezing. Like, it just makes me think of illnesses. So, when this kid sneezed, I looked at him, and I said, bless you. Hey, guys. It's summer. And, honestly, this video is gonna be <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm turning really red right now. For no reason. Okay, I literally don't have makeup on. My eyebrows are really thick caterpillars. And... I stayed homesick today from school because, oh my goodness, I don't know what this video is going to be about. And I've always wanted to do a video like this because I love watching YouTubers that just like can just talk. And so I wanted to test my ability to just talk about something random as it comes to me and just make it interesting. <laughs> okay, so this morning, I woke up. This is kind of scary. This is not scary, but this is kind of scary, actually, to be honest, because the fact it's scary to me that I'm able to do this. And if you can do this, too, let me know, because it's really creepy. And this happened to everybody, I feel like, but this happens to me a lot. I'm able to, in my sleep, like, shut my alarm clock off and have no remembrance of it. And then I'm just like, oh, man, like, my alarm didn't go off. No, it went off. I just shut it off in my sleep. Like... And to do that, you have to, like, press snooze and you have to, like, read it. You have to, like, look at it. Like, it's not, like, an, it's on my phone. I use my phone as my alarm clock and I have an iPhone 5. So you have to, like, press snooze. And the I think, like, the snooze is set, like, um, it's already set to be, like, eight minutes. So, like, it goes into, like, that time where it counts down from, like, eight minutes. That's, that's how long I think it is. But I press snooze, so it's, like, on the screen. You have to, like, be good at it. And I fell back to sleep, and then I woke up out of nowhere, looked at my phone, and was like, oh my god, I slept in. And no, I literally had three minutes left, and it was like 6.10. And like, I was just like, I feel so terrible. Like, I like got out of bed, my entire body felt like it was broken in half, my back hurt so bad, my throat was itchy and scratchy, and it felt terrible, and I was just mad about it, because... This kid in my art class sneezed. He will never see this video. And literally, when he sneezed, I looked at him. And I don't like when people sneeze around me because I can just picture the molecules of their germs in the air everywhere. And I'm not really a major germ freak, but when you sneeze, like, it projects around you. Like, even if you, like, put your head down or, like, cover your arm, like, cover your arm, use your arm to cover your face. You freaking still get your germs in the general area. And it's just not cute. So, anyway, sneezing is uh, disgusting. We all do it. I sneeze. Like, it's disgusting. I hate sneezing. Like, it just makes me think of illnesses. So, when this kid sneezed, I looked at him and I said, bless you. <laughs> and when I said it, I was like, I'm going to get sick and I'm going to get some cold because of this kid's sneeze, and I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen, and I wasn't wrong. And then when I woke up this morning, and my entire body aches, and I had like a sore throat, which is weird because I'm like able to talk now. I took Mucinex, and like I feel like good. I'm sleeping early tonight, by the way. I'm not going to bed late, which I have a really bad habit of doing because of this freaking website, YouTube. I'll be like watching story time videos from people and like feeling like. I have to watch all their videos, and that's what happens. Like, honestly, like, recommended for you is probably the worst thing. It's, no, it's not. Oh, my God. I love, I love, honestly, this is another really random thing. I think it's really funny when YouTube recommends stuff to me that I've never, like, searched before or am subscribed to somebody who posts content like that. Like, YouTube really likes to recommend me stuff like pregnancy videos and what else? kidnapping stories, um, really weird stuff, like, just not something that, I mean, actually, to be honest, some of the stuff is really interesting, and, like, it's entertaining, but it doesn't make sense why, maybe YouTube just knows that I'm a really easily entertained person, and just, like, hey, she'll like this, I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's what it is, and, um, yeah, so that's what happened. I don't know. This is a really random video. But basically, oh, also, 
just want to let you guys know, if you care, that I have really disgusting skin. Like, my skin, okay, I'm not going to sound like, I'm trying, I'm really sounding like I hate my face and my skin right now. Because I started out by saying, I have no makeup on and my skin's really ugly. Like, no, it's really not that ugly and I don't really care. I'm not having makeup on right now. I mean, obviously, I'm, like, posting this to the world, but, like, I don't really care. Anyway, my freaking face breaks out so much and my skin is so oily and I don't know why like when I was like in the beginning of high school in ninth grade I had I just like itched this so it's not because I mean I touch my face a lot because it's itchy sometimes anyway I had like t-zone oily skin which is just like the top of my forehead would be oily and like my nose and like my chin a little bit and now like my entire face is oily so then like when my entire face became oily I noticed that like I started getting acne like everywhere it's really cute, and it makes it so much fun when you're going to cover up your face when you actually feel like doing your makeup really good, and you actually want to, like, go in with your foundation. Like, this stuff right here is what I use. It's Bare Skin by Bare Minerals, and it sucks. It doesn't cover your face. It's not good, and it's freaking $40, but this is why I buy it, okay? My face hates me. I buy stuff like this, by the way. I'm also really bad at choosing foundation. And I'm like wanting to be, I want to be a makeup artist. But also, also, Bare Minerals has like a lot of different skin colors. Like their spectrum goes from like super light to like dark. Like it's pretty good. They don't have like some of the darkest foundations that I've seen other makeup lines have. But they have a really big spectrum. And so I'm like the palest one on their spectrum so me just being like lazy i guess i thought that i was like i bought this nyx foundation and it's literally in ivory and it's like the first color they have like the palest one and so i like swatched it to like my wrist and it matches my wrist but it does not match my face but it matches my neck like i don't know why like, I'll prime it. Like, I'll, I use concealer by NYX that matches me. But this literally does not match me. I don't know why I'm returning it. I literally only put it on, like, this part of my face. Because, like, I, my, I don't know. I try to, like, put it, like, a little bit heavily on, like, my acne scarring areas. Because, like, a lot of this isn't, like, fresh pimples. A lot of it is just, like, pre-existing, like, scars, like, from acne that, like, happened, like, a year ago. Or, like, probably not a year ago. Like... A couple months ago but like they haven't faded away yet so I try to cover it up and so what I do is I kind of pack it on there really good and so that's what I was doing and like literally I got to like I don't know it just is not cute it does not match me I'm returning it so if you I just like threw it on the ground by accident that was really weird <laughs> okay but um <laughs> different so I need to be a little bit better but I mean honestly like I swatched it on my wrist, like, I put it on my jawline, like, where you're supposed to swatch it, if you're in, what, if you want to be an esthetician, and you're in a school for aesthetics, like I am, and I'm mad at myself for this, because I should have known this, but I did know this, I put it on my chin, no, not my chin, what, I put it right here, and it matched, and literally, it does not match my face, I'm confused about it, I'm returning it, honestly, I felt like just talking, I'm, uh, this is why I was home today I did not go to school I didn't see any of my friends I like literally woke up felt terrible told my parents like I don't I'm not doing it like I felt terrible and I hate missing school because then when you go back you have to find out what you missed and that's stressful to me because when you weren't there if they did stuff that was really like intense it's harder to do because you're not doing it with the rest of the class you have to like make it up something like that to be honest but literally literally I pfft, shh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying but I was bored today so I felt like talking and like screaming into a camera because it's really fun you should try it it's really good and also also another thing that has to do with my freaking facial pimples that are seeming to be a really annoying problem in my life this brand Dermalogica is good it's good I got their face wash and it's this it's like called clear start and it's like in green letters and it's good but 
this is what happened. I got it last May. I still have the same container. You only need like a pea size amount. And literally that's, that's enough to cover and wash and cleanse your entire face. But, um, it cleared my face. Like my face was really good. I'm, st I'm still going to have scarring until the scarring fades. I don't know how to feel about it. So the, the clear start face wash, what the heck? Literally cleared my face, had my scarring over it. No, left over. That's a, that's, a, that's a must. Anything that clears my face doesn't clear up my scarring. Like, that's something that's just going to have to, like, go away gradually. Like, I got it. Like, I know that. Like, I'm chill with that. Like, um, covering up scarring is way easier. I started getting pimples again, and I was like, what? Like, got this, cleared up my face, was going to continue using it so my face would stay clear, and then I started getting pimples again. And all summer, I kept getting pimples. And then this winter, it has been so bad. So in my shower, I saw this. Neutrogena deep cleaning um, stuff that belongs to my mom and I was like I'm gonna try it because I have a weird feeling that the cheap it's not cheap like Neutrogena is a great brand like I'm not saying it's cheap but like it's cheaper in price compared to like the dermological line of products for your skin listen tried this stuff Der um, Neutrogena deep clean it's in a clear bottle and the deep clean letters are like real big and it's good and I don't have any of those things in here because this is my room. I have my makeup in here. My cleansing products are not in here because I have no water or sink in here to clean my face. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you them. I wash my face with it. Like I scrubbed it really good. Next day, a big pimple that was on my face that would not go away with my expensive Dermalogica stuff literally went away. And then I noticed as I kept using the um, deep clean stuff, the more of the pimples that I were having problems with, they literally vanished. And I'm mad. I had like three big pimples on my forehead and I still have like little ones because my skin sucks. But the big, really visible, hard to cover ones vanished. All because I decided to like go and try something that's good and it worked. So, if you think that, uh, that Neutrogena is like, oh, cheap, I need to go buy Proactive, try it first. Like literally, try it. I feel like it'd be good. I feel like it'd be really good. <sighs> Okay, so this video was so long. I don't know what I'm going to call it because it doesn't have a specific meaning. Like I'm not talking about one thing. I talked about five different things. I talked about me being sick. I talked about me being disgusted by sneezers. Sneezers, sneezing. I talked about my skin, um, facial products that I use, foundations that don't match my face and I get angry about it. And um, yeah, basically that. So like literally like my like conscious thoughts, my conscious stream of thoughts. I just told you about it. So yeah, hey, like, I don't know. I wish I could give you a thumbs up, but if you want to give me a thumbs up and be like, hey girl, like this was, this was like Gucci. Like it's okay. Like do that. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. I really just don't know about it. Okay guys, I'm gonna go. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you guys wake up tomorrow and smile and feel really good and not super sick and disgusting and gross like I did this morning. And for myself, I also hope that I wake up feeling really good tomorrow because that was not one of those days today. Like, it really was not good. Oh, what? What is this lighting? I don't know about it. I feel like a ghost. Not good. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, guys. I don't know. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want more of this. If you like this, I don't know who would be like all hype for this, but if you are, I thank you so hard. Okay, guys, bye bye.